Now we are going to start with the Charles Law, right? So first of all, you would like to know that who actually gave this law and when and what information uh, it is just trying to give us. Give us. So it was given by Charles in 1678, right? It is actually the you can say a volume temperature relationship. It is actually a volume temperature relationship. So what actually he saw or why he gave this uh, law, actually this law is actually based on the experimental verification or, is, or you can say experimental observation, it will be a correct word. So the, what you see in experiments that when you heat a gas, uh, obviously the volume of gas gets affected and when you cool the gas, again the volume gets affected. So this is what we are trying to explain in this law that uh, how the gases expand when we heat them or how they contract when we cool them. So we say that it is a volume temperature relationship. So what is that actually? Uh, the statement for this law is that at constant pressure. For this law to learn, we need to keep the pressure and the mass of the gas constant. I will write here, pressure and mass of gas being constant. So at constant pressure, for fixed amount of gas, volume increases, volume of gas, right, increases or decreases with increase or decrease in temperature. So that means if you are keeping the pressure constant and even you have a mass of gas being uh, fixed right. So then what happens when you increase the temperature the volume of gas also increase if you decrease the temperature the volume of gas also decrease. So somehow we can say that that volume is directly proportional to temperature. That means volume when you increase the temperature volume gets affected how it uh, it is directly proportional it varies directly when you decrease the temperature again it varies directly it decreases with the same amount. So uh, we can just uh, solve it out so that means V is equal to K upon K into T K is something called constant or we can write V upon T is constant the ratio of volume to temperature is constant. Now if I have uh, uh, you can say a gas whose volume is V1 at temperature T2, now I just heat it. So what happens the temperature is changed to T2 and volume is get also get, get affected as it becomes V2. So we can have the expression that V1 is equal to T1, uh, sorry V1 upon T1 is equal to V2 upon T2. This you can relate when you are uh, changing the temperature or the volume. Now what, what we have seen actually, we have seen for every 1 degree, for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature, for every 1 degree rise, whether you increase the temperature or you decrease the temperature, or you know that volume is getting affected. But how much amount, by how much amount it is getting affected, we are consider, we want to know that. So what we see that for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature, the volume is increasing or decreasing by 1273.5.15 of its original volume. If we are increasing the temperature, it the volume is increasing by this much amount and if it is we are decreasing the temperature, volume is decreasing by this much amount and this is the original volume which we see at 0 degree Celsius. So this is what, now I will just try to explain it mathematically. Suppose I am increasing the temperature by 1 degree. I am increasing the temperature by 1 degree and we know that volume also gets increased and how by how much amount by 1273 of its original let us say its original volume is V0 at 0 degree Celsius. So when we are increasing the temperature volume is increasing by how much amount 1273 of its original volume right for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature. So that means the new volume is now equal to the original volume which was earlier plus the increase and what is the increase 1273.15 or of its original volume for every 1 degree or uh, 1 degree rise in temperature that is into t a new temperature what you are increasing right. So we can write this expression this like this also Vt is equal to by taking V0 common 1 plus T upon 273.15 so we can write this by this also we can move this V0 here. We can write this as uh, taking an LCM 273.15 plus T. 
and you know that when uh, 273.15 plus t in here the new term comes because uh, initially what we were doing at uh, the degree celsius scale but the the uh, you can say 273.15 plus the uh, any degree celsius temperature it is a, a new temperature scale that is the kelvin so we can write here as this as here i am writing v not upon vt upon v not is something called as temperature t upon temperature t not so we can move we can write as v1 upon v2 is equal to t2 upon so this is what is we are trying to explain here to derive a new uh, you can say the scale of temperature that is the kelvin scale which is equal to 273.15 plus the temperature in uh, degree celsius so this is what is the mathematical expression now you know that uh, you have seen hot air balloons you, ha you must have seen hot air balloons actually they are ac they are actually based on the charles law only what happened see if somehow i keep a heater here and i just start heating it what happens it will start blowing up right the air will get filled up in the this balloon and when i just try to cool out that means i'm just going to extract or somewhat i'm providing a condition where there is cooling effect so that means it will decrease its volume so that means on increasing the temperature the volume of the gas increases on decreasing the temperature it somehow gets decrease this i'm going to explain you with a logical experiment so this is what i have for you suppose this is my balloon right it is filled with air molecules you know that and they are occupying a certain volume they are present at fixed pressure and the, even the mass is fixed now we know that the air inside is not stationary you know that right they have higher they have maximum kinetic energy out of three states so that means they must be moving here and there the particles of the gas must be moving here and there now if you are providing it temperature from outside if you are providing temperature from outside that means they are gaining the thermal energy and they start moving more faster their thermal energy will increase they will start moving more faster and this will somehow expand the balloon they will somehow expand the balloon and we see a certain kind of expansion that means on increasing the temperature when they are hitting harder so they are expanding it that means volume is increasing and what is the increase actually it is 1273.15 of its original volume at 0 degree celsius so this is what is this and if you want to perform a, a daily routine experiment in order to confirm charles law you can do that how you can do that see i have made a fridge for you right so this is my fridge and this is my balloon what i'm going to do this that i am going to keep this balloon inside the fridge so what happens after some time when i'll take it out because in fridge we know that the temperature is low because there is a cooling effect so temperature is somewhat lower so when i'm going to take this balloon outside from the fridge after few hours what i'm going to see that the volume of the balloon gets decreased because when you decrease the temperature the uh, kinetic energy of the air molecules which are present inside the molecules somehow cease and uh, they start getting contract right so this is what we get we get to observe in the daily routine and it is based on definitely on the charles law so this is what is the you can say a daily routine experiment which you can carry out in order to make you familiar with the charles law so now i think it's clear that what is the charles law that when you keep a pressure constant for a fixed amount of gas the volume varies directly with the temperature you increase the temperature volume also gets increased and if you decrease the temperature it also gets decreased and how much decrease or increase it is 1273.15 of its original volume for every 1 degree rise or fall in temperature right so this is what we see here now if we if somebody uh, talk you about the significance like what you can see in a practical uh, routine so you can say that that the hot air balloons which are used for meteorological purpose are actually based on the charles law because when you heat them they just uh, the balloon just blow up when you cool them the the air just gets cease and the balloon uh, you can say they start contracting shrinking the volume gets decreased so this is what now it's time to explain uh, in terms of uh, uh, in um, graphically ter graphical terms so now here i'm plotting a graph between volume and temperature and here i'm te taking temperature in degree celsius not in a kelvin scale so what we see that that at this temperature as you can see that at this temperature i have just originated all the lines not from the zero one because this temperature something corresponds to 273.15 degree celsius 
So we have seen that this is the temperature that is the 273.15 degrees Celsius at which all gases actually uh, you can say occupy a zero volume. So we say that they just the graphs just originate from this point and we see that uh, it varies uh, we can see a straight line at different pressures and each line the, which we plot between V versus T at constant temperature is called as ISO bar. So this is our ISO bar. So this is what how you are going to explain it graphically and here uh, this the lowest temperature at which the gases tend to occupy zero volume is nothing but the you can write 273.15 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin. Zero Kelvin is also uh, actually called as absolute zero scale or ab sorry absolute scale of temperature because the lowest possible temperature on it is 0 Kelvin as far as in practical experience we have not achieved this temperature because before uh, we reach this point the gases tends to liquefy right. So but otherwise we can say that this is the temperature that is the absolute scale when the gases will occupy actually a 0 volume that is why it is called as absolute scale of temperature because here the gases tend to occupy almost the negligible volume that is the 0 volume. Now we are going to start with a question on it. So what do we have here? We have on the ship sailing in a Pacific Ocean, a ship is sailing in a Pacific Ocean, right? And where the temperature is this? So I'm just going to write uh, my ship is in Pacific Ocean and the temperature is somewhat this. Now a balloon is filled with 2 liter air there only on Pacific Ocean. So the volume is 2 liters with air. Now what will be the volume of the balloon we need to find the new volume because, because our ship is reaching the Indian Ocean now because it started from Pacific Ocean where we filled the volume uh, balloon with the 2 litre air now uh, and uh, there was a fixed temperature as well now our ship is moving from the Pacific Ocean to the Indian Ocean we need to see that is there any difference in the volume of the um, balloon or not. So we are just looking for the new volume and here the temperature is again different it is somewhat increased from 23.4 to 26.1. So we know that it is very clear from the formula that we need to put this kind of expression. But before we do that we need to make the units same. So as you can see that it is in liter again you need to find that degree Celsius degree Celsius it is okay. But when you are uh, solving this question you need to uh, this thing convert into Kelvin. So just convert into Kelvin scale because it is the absolute scale which we will be taking up. Just put the values so v2 is something v1 upon t1 is equal to t2 so put in this value and the time you will put it you will get an answer equal to 20.8 liters you know how to do the calculations so this is what is the charles law so if somebody is going to ask you that who gave the charles law you should be clear with the answer charles because as the name are similar right he just uh, made a generalization on his own name in 1678 relationship volume temperature pressure mass is uh, we are keeping fixed the conclusion volume directly proportional to temperature if you evaluate for two volumes and temperature we get this expression we can also explain in this order right and we can have a logical experiment when in where we were heating and thermal increase energy was increasing they were heating harder and they were somewhat uh, affecting the volume of the balloon and you can do a daily routine experiment by keeping the filled balloon in a fridge and when you take out we see that it gets somehow compressed and you can also draw an isocore do not uh, forget this this thing 273.15 is the uh, degree Celsius the lowest possible temperature right and uh, this corresponds to 0 Kelvin which is the absolute scale of temperature right and numericals I think it is very easy to take up and uh, so this finishes our Charles law.